Hey everybody, this is Bizmaster Deluxe, back again for another episode of Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we took down um, Clanker's Cavern, 100% of that, and now we are off to Bubble Gloop Swamp, which I most recently opened. So let's go find that. Um, it's actually not too out of the way, but first, we're just going to hit down these eyes quick, and get our claim our jiggy from the last episode. Awesome. Alright, now we're off to Bubble Goop Swamp, so let's climb up here. It's actually not as out of the way as you'd think here. Just, it gets a little, a little long going through all of these, but here we go, we got a 180 note door, and that's a breeze when we have 300 notes. Alright, so what we're going to want to do here, there's a big crunty statue, and there's a jiggy in there. We'll get on how to open that later. But first, let's just go up this slope here, and we'll jump in here. <coughs> Alright, and here is Bubble Gloop Swamp. But first, um, there's always something, you're not really supposed to do this, um, eh. Just to try to save time, I'm going to try and do this right now, but... Alright, let's just try to get back here. You're not really supposed to be able to do this yet, but... Uh, come on, Kazooie, go! Awesome. Alright, so we got through here. We're not going to look at that yet. We're going to go over here, actually, first. That's actually the next place we're going to open, but we're not going to do that yet. Because we'll be Bach. Actually, I think we have enough. Yeah. We might as well open this now. Um, we're just going to open up the next level, which is Freeze Easy Peak, since we have enough uh, jiggies. We have no idea where this is yet, so we won't be covering that until the next episode. So let's just get out of here. go like this. Yeah, as I said, you're not supposed to be able to get over here yet, but... Might as well. YOLO, right? Alright, so... Let's just crack this baby open. And just get a couple of those back. I'm not too concerned about health. Alright, so let's enter Bubble Gloop Swamp! Alright, we got one note to learn here, so... Let's find that right away. Oh, would you look at that? There's Bottles of Mole. Trying to pull a fast one on us being right behind here. It's not really a new move, it's just a new item we can use. The Waiting Boots. So basically, what Kazooie just puts her chicken legs uh, in those boot booties, and we won't get hurt by the piranha water. So, that's pretty sweet. Come on. Come on, Bottles. Thank you for filling up my health. Alright, so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to go right over here and shoot an egg in this guy's mouth. Which makes him disappear. The Croctus loves that. And there he is. He transports. Transports. Teleports. Alright, so I don't think there's any notes up here. I think it's just like eggs or feathers. Yeah, just feathers. Alright, so what we're going to do is go over this way, grab these notes, and then grab the yellow ginjo. Um, I'm just going to show these off to you to get that mumbo token behind this little pillar here, as you can see. Because he just grows chicken legs and uh, puts, her, puts her legs in those boots and we're safe. And it's just for a limited time, it's not infinite, but we can stop it by pressing X, so might as well do that because I won't need them right now. Okay, let's grab these. Alright. So there's a jiggy, and this one is timed actually, so we're gonna have to climb up here quick. Grab these notes on the way. There's the Croctus to the left, but I'll get that in a bit here. So we're already up to over 20 notes after this. Oh! Actually, we're up to exactly 20 notes. 
So what I'm going to do is just let that timer go out, and we're just going to have to uh, defeat these yellow, yellow frogs. These are like better frogs. They take two hits um, to well, to die. So I mean, it's not really too difficult, but. Uh oh, dang it. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So, the timer expired, so we lost out on our chance to get um, the jiggy there, but we can just hit the ground pound the switch again. Alright, and all those guys got pounded. So, all the gold flippets get, get pounded, and then they give us a jiggy, so awesome. So let's go back now and try to get that jiggy. I'll go a little bit slower. Kind of got carried away with my speed there for a second. Let's just try this again here. Usually isn't too bad, so should be able to get it this time. Especially when you're Kazooie, it's just kind of a little too fast for walking. Let's just go a little slower here. Alright, let's just get down here as Banjo. Let's just fly over here, just make it fast and easy on ourselves. Yeah, as you see, I only took out less than half of the timer there, so I mean, it's not really that difficult whatsoever. And as you saw, there were some goodies. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, okay, that, would, that could have been annoying. But we got a green Jinjo here. Then let's go back over here and uh, shoot an egg into that Croctus. Oh yeah, I forgot there's also Mumbo Token over here. Alright, so the next Croctus is right over here. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that there is one um, Jiggy that we can... Well, we possibly could obtain, but it's I, f I find it too difficult and too tedious, I guess. It would just take a while to get without a future item, so I'm not going to show that one off quite yet, so we'll get to that in a later episode once we get the proper item. Um, I think the next Crocus was up here. I wasn't paying attention at all, so hopefully it was up here. See, there's a pink Jinjo down there. We'll get him in a bit. You gotta ground pound these houses just like in Mumbo's Mountain. And shoot up here. And up here is actually where the next Grunty switch is. And there's also um, some notes and also a Jiggy. So hitting that Grunty switch blows up that cap or her hat. So how are we gonna get in there? Hmm. We'll figure it out. Stay tuned in the next episode how to get get through there. So we got this one. And there's the next crocus. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> there's also a mobile token up there, but first, I want to jump up here. And here's a jiggy. So I believe that's our third. Yeah, because we'll only be getting nine um, this time around, so what we're going to do is just jump and get this. Oh, maybe not. I want to get that uh, Mumbo token, but there's an X-Croctus. I believe there's two more after that one. Either one or two more. But let's get this Mumbo token, because we're going to need it. Come on. <laughs> Got a failing here. What? Alright, let's go straight on here. There we go. Alright, now that we get that out of the way, we're... Almost done with this little corner, but I'm gonna wait until we become our whoops, until we become our animal of the level. So let's go grab this honeycomb piece, and then let's go over here because the next Croctus was over here. Let's grab these notes, and then let's climb, go around here, and climb. Right, no, I don't need to climb up yet. We'll go over here. Oh, come on. Kill that 
guy. Alright. Oh. We're gonna jump. See, there's a blue Jinjo and some notes over there. So let's just head on over here. <coughs> Grab that, we'll grab this golden feather. And we'll get this blue Jinjo. Then we're supposed to kinda wait till we're the animal of this level, but I'm kinda lazy, so I just kinda run in here. <laughs> Guns blazing. Grab this. Because it only takes out two pieces of health, so. We're gonna go over here. I think we're all done for this corner now. Go up here. We'll come back to that little maze up on the top, or up over on the right up here later. Once we uh, get a couple more jiggies. So let's get over here. It's kind of like the last thing I usually like to do in this level. Let's go do that. So uh, let's go over here now. Let's collect these notes. Already over the halfway mark. Grab these notes quick here. Alright, there's the last practice. So, that, we got another Jiggy. Awesome. With that, we're at four. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is ground on this guy's legs. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that cough. Still kind of getting over a cold, but it's finally finally coming around. I think so. All right, last one here. Oops. There we go. He spits out a jiggy for us, and then we can also walk inside of him, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Alrighty, so let's head on over here. Let's grab these notes. Pay up Tip Top Choir. Tip Top. Alright, so I want to remember what pattern they do. So it's red, purple, blue, light blue. Red, purple, light blue. And the, what you're supposed to do is just, um, ground pound. Let me just grab these notes before I forget. Alright. You yeah, definitely don't want, um, a thing to happen like last episode where I got completely turned around because I missed two notes and then I missed one of them. Oh, that was bad. Alright, so it's yellow, red, purple, red, purple. Yellow, red, purple, red, purple. That's not difficult. Yellow, red. Take that! Oops. Take that! I think they kind of get pissed getting like pounded by a beak, but whatever. Ah, splendid! Thank you. One more try here, and then I get a jiggy. So it's purple, red, yellow. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I got it, but I'm not really good at remembering these things, but... I think it was yellow, purple, yellow. Awesome. So with that, I'm a true master. And I get a G. You might think we're done here, but we're actually not. Well, first of all, there's a mumbo token, obviously, right behind him. Which I probably would have forgotten about. Him. Forgotten about, so we'll just grab that. And what we're going to want to do is leave and then come right back in here. Now that we have done that, everyone's gone. And we're going to jump on this podium and do a backflip.
And look at that. First honeycomb piece of the level. Sweet. Alright, so let's jump over here. Alright, we are done with this corner now. So let's go back over here. Hmm. I don't think of what we're going to want to do next here. Let's go over here. It's kind of easy to tell where you haven't been because all these notes. Okay. Avoid these guys. Jump on this leaf. And you wanna, I don't know. I don't remember if there's anything up here worthwhile. Umbo token. Definitely worthwhile. Um. And then what I'm going to do is go over here and grab these notes just because I'm too lazy to come back here with the certain animal we turned into. Alright, and we're going to want to jump up and then ground pound this. First grab the life. Whatever. And then start hitting these X's on the, on the eggs as they grow smaller. And I bet you can guess what's inside. That's right, a bird! Just kidding. It's Jiggy. Alright, awesome. So that's seven, so we're only two away now from our total that we're planning to get. Alright, so let's just go over this way. And then... Kinda got turned around in here. What we wanna do... It's not, it's not over there, it's over here. Hmm. <laughs> I just got turned around. Let's go up here. Oh, it's right over here. This is what I was looking for. Alright, so then... Here comes a really long line of... Ba -da 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 -da. Just a little maze. It's not really even a maze, it's just follow the path. Be grabbing all these notes, and you can hear when once the clock starts to tick, you know the boots are almost done. So you're gonna want to either get to safety or find a new pair of boots fast. But luckily for this, it's not too bad at all. So let's go up here. Grab that. And what we're gonna want to do is actually wait right here, because as you can see, there's another jiggy switch. So hopefully I can do this without falling, because that would be unfortunate. Just like the last time, but it's a lot faster. Ten seconds. But it's not too bad. You can just jump. Yeah, see, it only took me six, so not too bad at all. Alright, now we're just going to want to get back. Just take your time. Don't want to fall. And then we can continue grabbing the boots and continue on. I always thought this song was pretty funny. I don't know. Just sums up this game in general. This is wacky. Alright, let's get rid of these boots. And then first thing we're going to want to do, actually, is go behind Mumbo. Grab that Mumbo token. Um, I believe we only need 15, so... Hopefully that's true. Not... Kind of screwed. Oh, we only need 10. <laughs> Never mind, then. Alright. Um, I think I have enough feathers. But here is actually the other honeycomb piece, so we got both of those. We're good to go on that end. Alright, turn me into a mini alligator. Crocodile. <laughs> Mumbo in need of new roots. Yeah, hop off, Mumbo. Alright, so what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to go... Um, we're just going to go into this alligator statue thingy for a little bit. Um, this is where the final jiggy that we'll be getting is, but we're not going to do that yet because we're going to need something to make us go faster in order to get the jiggy. I mean, it's possible the other way. It just makes it a lot easier to do it this way. There's also six notes in here, too, just a note. All right, and as you may have guessed, we don't get hurt walking in here, so that's always a plus. Alright, so what we're going to do... I think we have all the Jinjos. Oh, I didn't grab the orange one. Dang it. I'll have to grab that, too. But, um... Let's walk around here first. And grab this... These notes. And then... Um, I think we'll be good on notes, then. 
for the level. There's also a couple mumble tokens and we got our uh, pink chinjo. Let me get our notes. Yeah, we are good on notes then, guys. Grab this life. And what we're gonna do is grab the two mumble tokens over here. All right. So now we just need the last dodge, uh, Jinjo, and then we're out of here for now. We'll come back. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, we'll come back. We need 100%. Um, I'm trying to remember where that last Jinjo is. Jesus. I think it's back here, isn't it? I think I may have just forgotten about it. I was just planning on jumping and grabbing it. I didn't want to walk all the way over here, but apparently I got it wrong. All right. Yep. There he is. And with that. 360. Grab that. Alright, so we got our nine jig jiggies of the level. And then we're actually going to leave here as um, little alligator as well. Because as you may have guessed, what I broke um, before the level with that snow, like that ice ball, there was a little hole there, but it was too small to fit um, Banjo Kazooie in there by themselves. So. As you guessed it, this guy is small, so we might have to go in there and see what he has for us. So let's walk back here. Because then again, we don't have to do it anymore either, which is makes it really convenient. Because it's just a hassle going through that maze every time. It's just annoying. So I like to do all of this at once. That's why I like to come out here before I get those waiting boots and just kind of halfway kill myself trying to get out here. Yeah, it just makes it a lot easier. So let's climb up here. Grab the gold feather and walk through here. And this um, brings upon us our first book of Cheeto. Um, this is Cheeto. He gives us cheat codes and hates the witch, apparently. I think it's the witch's spell book. <laughs> Which lost book. Fairy bird found him. Give us the spells. Only one spell Chito can tell. Enter blue eggs on the sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove world. So, remember when I said we'll be coming back to Treasure Trove Cove? This is why. Um, now that we got that, we can go and do that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut out right here. And then I'll meet you at the Treasure Trove Cove floor to enter in the cheat code. See you then. Hey guys, back again. We are at, we are in Treasure Trove Cove, so let's just uh, poop some eggs into this leaky here and get this water out of here. Blow up that bomb and let's get inside this sandcastle. Alright. Let's just kill this guy because he's going to piss me off, I just guarantee it. I actually need some health too, so I might as well grab it. Alright, let's go blue eggs. Um, we'll be coming back here two more times, because Cheeto gives us three cheats total. Which is kind of convenient, as you may guess, it's for each is for every single one. It's for every single power-up, there's blue eggs, and then it's red feathers, and then gold feathers. With that, we can now carry 200 blue eggs. Which is pretty sweet. Alright, so, um, with that, now that we opened up um, Freeze Easy Peak and almost 100%ed, uh, now that we almost 100%ed, uh, what's it called? Bubble Gloop Swamp, uh, I think that's a good uh, note to end on for this episode, guys. Um, thank you for watching. And in the next episode, I will show you where we'll be going. Be going up here. Jump up here. Avoid the bad guy. We'll be going through that 260 note door right there. So, um, see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.
If you think I was born for leaving, then I think I was born for truth. Then man, I'd be lying if there was a time I hadn't been thinking about you.